right, uh, welcome back. Fishing's not a crime. I haven't done videos all year. Not that I haven't been fishing. I've been fishing quite a bit. I apologize about not doing videos. I've had a lot of changes going on in my world as far as jobs and things like that. And Josh and I are trying to figure some stuff out. But we're back. It is August 21st. And... Uh, Red Cap and Fever in Victoria. I'll put a link in there. Great little place to come. River's so low, it's crazy right now. I'm gonna go over a little bit later in the in the video about what the plan is for the rest of this year. But let's catch some fish. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done it, subscribe. Oh yeah, starting it off right. First video of the year. Look at that bad boy. Catching them out of nine feet of water. Uh huh. Uh -huh. This is what you can come to expect from us. See ya. That's good kind. That guys, small, bigger than the last one. Slimy, but satisfying. Changed over to a uh, flipping setup or punching setup. Put the talent down so we don't move. Because Trevor and I are throwing a frog, and we're getting blown up on, but they're missing it 50% of the time. So I figure I'll let him keep throwing the frog. And I'll throw the, the flipping set up and give him something a little bit slower to look at. And I didn't even feel that guy uh, bite. He just swimming sideways with it. You gotta pay attention. He was out too a little bit. A little bit better. Whoa, hello, friend. There we go. Again, flipping. Pit boss. I think it's a half ounce tungsten. Nothing too exciting, but the bite has been very slow. You don't want them or nothing. Every so often, I'll like. Open that little port on the side. That was so weird. Swimming with it, guys. They're on a Terminator tandem spinner bait with the trailer. Oh, he's bleeding. Let's get him back in the water quick. But this is what I'm throwing here. Tandem spinner bait. I usually like two gold blades, but uh. The last lake I was at, I was getting short struck, so I changed one of the blades to a silver, and I started connecting better. But he hit it and started swimming right with it. It was real strange. Didn't, and then he kept swimming with it. We get to where there's a lead edge. On the outside of the Is it better? Yeah. It's better. Like better. Trevor and I got a little best three fish going. I don't think he's going to bump. Nope. No bumpage. Another one on the spinner bait, guys. He's a pretty fish. He's a Pretty fish. Mm -hmm. oh, a little bit of a belly flop there. <clears throat> Wipe all that slime off of my boat. That was a lot healthier than the other ones I've seen. Yeah, the other pond we are catching them in. So I don't know if we said anything. I don't think I said anything. We just changed ponds. Uh, we, we're at cabin fever. Trevor just hooked up with the bass. 
and uh, we start on the very far back pond with the beach on it because I've caught the biggest fish in there and we probably caught four fish nothing big and they all looked really unhealthy skinny just something was wrong so I don't know it's that time of year it's summertime Trevor just pulled in a one pound bass with seven pounds of weeds <laughs> so you know while I'm trying to explain to you what's happening so we pulled out of that pond we gave it about an hour pulled out of it and uh, and he just creased the back of my boat it's just like straight nastiness bad. back there now uh pulled out of that pond giggity and uh put into this one right next to it and we've probably caught four fish already yeah four within the first 20 minutes of being here and they all look much healthier spinnerbait heaven right now it is spinnerbait like condition perfect same with uh buzzbait but they don't want anything to do with the buzzbait As I had weed a little bit longer, I had weeds on my spinnerbait and I was jerking it to get the weeds off. You know, I kept, you, you could see, I was popping it trying to get the weeds off and he just smashed it. Come on, man. Get on out of there. Little guy. Probably should have bumped him, but he looked short. I want what eats him. See that though, guys? Check this out. Stop. Stop. See the hooks? See how I got them on the trailer? That's why you run that trailer. I know a lot of people don't run it, but man, you're giving up fish if you're not running a trailer. Hit the water. Got one. Yeah. That's a keeper. How about that? How about that guy? Spinner baiting. Shallow water. First one on a frog. There we go. Booyah. Pad crasher. That's how we do it. A couple weeks ago, I was fishing in the canal and uh, I had a blow up on a fish. He hit it real hard. So I hooked that like that, you know, like you're supposed to do with the frog. And he missed it. So I flip in there right away with my, my flipping setup, and he doesn't hit it, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. I wonder why he wouldn't hit it, because they almost always hit the flipping setup after the frog. So I pick up my frog, and something's on it, and I'm like, oh, I better clean that off. I go to grab it off, and I'll put a, I, I'll put a picture up in the screen, if you want to hear there. Uh, I rip the bottom jaw off the bass. I mean, I felt bad, don't get me wrong. But we always joke about ripping their lips off and stuff, and that's literally what happened. <laughs> so, I hope that fish is alright. I doubt he will be alright. That's, he, he, maybe, maybe he just bit off a little more than he could chew. Now he can't chew at all. Eating out of a tube.
hit it like a ton of bricks, guys. Working it over little concrete mounds and uh, uh, logs. And he just, as it was falling, just boom. <laughs> Un unreal how hard he hit it. The back area is like really kind of a small channel, you know. Yeah. I think so. I don't think it's common. Took him two tries to get that one. But he was successful in eating. <laughs> 